Good afternoon and welcome to Adventure Planet where today I've come down to the Creeley Resort here in Devon for the first time since 2015. Yeah, it's been a long time since I uh, last visited this park so looking forward to getting in, checking out all the changes and updates over the past few years. Now, originally it really opened back in 1989 as a dairy farm, but today it's actually home to three coasters and as of last year, the new Sooty Land featuring four themed rides and attractions and a live show which we'll be taking a look at right here uh, in this vlog. Now, in terms of entry, if you're 92 centimeters or over, you can expect to pay around 22 pounds online, depending on when you uh, actually want to come down to visit. And if you're under 92 centimeters, you can get in for free. It's worth noting though, that heights are checked on the gate just to ensure that you do qualify for that free entry. In terms of parking, it's absolutely free to park here. We're gonna head on in now, check out the park map and kind of head in a clockwise direction um, starting with uh, the Flying Dutchman and a little uh, rock and tuck that they've got here in the park. Let's head on in, check out all the changes and uh, see what it's like. The weather should be holding off today, so hoping for a dry day. Uh, fingers crossed, that's what they say. Let's head on in and check out Creeley Resort here in Devon. And here we are at the entrance to the park then. And yeah, I really hope the weather does stay like this. Nice uh, blue skies, broken cloud. And like I say, feeling pretty warm. Have your tickets ready to scan. Nice little entrance this. Nice little fountain, little water feature in the middle here with all the daffodils, looks really nice. Park hours today, 10 a.m. through until five o'clock. So plenty of time for rides. Let's head on in through the entrance right here. And just past the entrance then to the right, we have this huge park map. And as you can see, we entered into the park here we're around about here right now and then of course we'll take a clockwise direction around the park here of course you've got the jolly roger here and the rocking tug and then as we get around here the new sooty land is this area all along here so i'll be checking that out in full a little bit later on obviously the uh the live show for sooty actually takes place in the big top here and then you've got some water rides and the Twister roller coaster, which actually was the newest ride here at the park when I last visited Creeley. And you've also got some animals to take a look at in the top right of the park here as well. Before we finish down here in uh, Atlantis, where there is uh, another coaster, indoor coaster, and a soft play area. So let's start by taking a look around by the Jolly Roger, Flying Dutchman, and of course the Maximus roller coaster, probably the best ride here at the park. Let's go take a look. And starting off with just a couple of little photo opportunities here then, just past the entrance. Nice water feature here. And the big deck chair, of course, just to the left there. Always a staple photo opportunity. As we come to the first ride of the day, just on the left here, classic rockin' tug. This is the Jolly Roger, and I gotta say, nicely themed. All the pirates here and the audio and <laughs> a little frog on the top there. Nice little river and little model boats. Yeah, I gotta say, it's definitely uh, better themed than uh, Heave Ho at Alton Towers or Trawler Trouble at Chessington. Yeah, really nice. The old pelican at the back there, fish in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, look at this, really nice. All the kind of fencing themed in here as well with a netting at the bottom, barrels of mead and gunpowder there. Nice audio. Yeah, really well done. <laughs> I like that. And you've got the Blackbeard's Chicken Shack, just opposite the Jolly Roger there. And just past that to the left here, we've got the Flying Dutchman. One of the smaller swinging ships, manufactured by Metalbora Mellon. And yeah, I love the theming on the back again here with the skull and crossbones and the compass with the wheel. And as you'll probably notice on a lot of rides here at Creeley, they do tend to be surrounded by these high walls that essentially act as sound barriers. They've done their best to kind of theme these in, uh, as you'll see on some of the rides around the park here. But yeah, looks really good again. Little pirate down the bottom here. <laughs> Current wait time, just five minutes. Pretty much a walk on onto the Jolly Roger, but as we get around here to the left, we have the first of our roller coasters, just opposite the wave swinger at the back here. This will be Maximus. Manufactured by Vacoma. Little family coaster here, opened back in 2000.
and there was a little bit of off-road footage there then of Maximus and yeah like I say this was manufactured by Vacoma and it's kind of a family slash junior coaster here at Creeley. Uh, up until 2009 it was actually known as Pastel Loco and up until just even more recently just last year actually 2022 it originally had a uh, blue track with yellow supports quite a vibrant color scheme which I felt back at the time didn't really fit in um, with the kind of the rest of the theming that they've got here of course it's kind of a very Egyptian Western kind of feel with like the yellows and browns as you can see in the back here so I think this all brown color scheme definitely suits the ride a lot better uh, we're allowed to film on ride here at Creeley so I'm gonna jump on now there's just a 15 minute wait and uh, let's get on and enjoy Maximus the two lap special let's go take a look and here we are on Maximus then hey the staff here at Creeley are fantastic giving out a number of birthday shouts and having some great fun with all the guys queuing up really really good up the booster wheel lift hill then into the shed here we go hey <laughs> Oh, it's a back row ride! Hey! Whoa. Oh, here we go! In a little helix here! Hey! Oh, wow! <laughs> Guy in front's... Guy in front's having a meltdown! <laughs> okay, top one, two! Yeah, like we say, two laps special for this one. Yeah, it's a great little ride this. I'd like to see a little bit more theming around. The station itself is actually quite well themed, but I'd like to see a little bit more theming around here. They've got a couple of statues and a couple of kind of Roman decorations. Hey! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's great! Oh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that was fantastic! And a little bit of on-ride footage there then of Maximus here at Creeley. And yeah, it's a good family ride that. And I gotta say, yeah, I still think it's gonna be the best ride here. It was back in 2015 as well. Really, really enjoy that one. Real solid family slash studio coaster. I'd like to say, and like I said on the ride, I'd like to see a little bit more theming around the ride itself. Um, I think they could really kind of theme up that shed actually. That would be really, really nice. A little bit of it, you know, on the outside as well as on the inside. The station itself is actually really cool quite well themed. You've got the nice bamboo roof, lots of statues in there, a little bit of audio playing as well. Um, great operations in there today though. 15 minute advertised queue time was on in 10. And like I say, the staff really are fantastic. Having a great laugh with people that are queuing, giving out all the birthday shout outs as well. It's one of the big positives here at Creeley. The staff really are fantastic. Anyway, I'm gonna check out a little bit more of the park now, heading over to the Aqua Blasters and the go-karts. Let's go take a look. And a little bit of off-ride footage of the flying machine there then, a little junior wave swing here at the park as we make our way down to Aqua Blasters. Fantastic little water ride this, control little bumper boats with their own little water cannon on the front. <laughs> and if you stand too close to this fencing, you will get wet. Having <laughs> little, little water battles there. Fantastic ride for the summer this. And there's a little bridge that you can kind of walk across here and get a good old look down. And also, they're not actually switched on today, but there are some water cannons on the side here that you can use to get the guys in the boats wet as well. Actually quite surprised at uh, how quiet it is here in Creeley today. Uh, is the start of the Easter holidays, of course. Uh, it's the first of the uh, Easter weekends. Um, but however, the uh, actual Easter event here at Creeley doesn't actually start until tomorrow, which is the uh, Egosaurus Dino Hunt little uh, Easter egg hunt that they have here at the park that starts tomorrow all the way through until the 16th of April so maybe then that'll be the time that it'll kind of really pick up capacity a little bit here in the park but today yeah it's pleasantly surprised actually at how uh, how quiet it is it's possible that Sudiland will be uh, a lot busier however this area of the park at the moment is actually pretty quiet got some go-karts here as well 
worth noting that these are actually an upcharge and I think I fall into the uh, the majority view that I think upcharges at parks you know it's not the best firstly I kind of frown on that I really don't think it should be an upcharge especially these actually because uh, these carts are actually uh, electric powered so it's not even as if they need uh, you know to accrue the money for fuel to you know to fill them up kind of thing these are all electric um, and in terms of the layout of the track it's not you know it's not the largest track either um, so for that to be an upcharge hey! <laughs> for that to be an upcharge uh, isn't the best in my opinion but uh, you know it's a fun little ride if you do have a Creeley annual pass uh, these are actually included for free you don't actually have to pay if you have that annual pass but if you are just coming down on the day like myself these are an upcharge which is a little bit of a shame And just at the back of the park now then kind of in amongst all the play areas that they have here at Creeley and you've got this soak zone here which is currently closed at the moment it closes for winter but obviously does open up for the summer months which is basically a, a water play park there you've got another little kiddies <laughs> little kiddies slide thing here and then you've got dino dig which is this uh, play area here with this old sand pit you've got kind of a smaller not go-karts but a smaller kind of pay to ride area here uh, for the smaller kids that maybe aren't quite confident enough to get on the uh, faster go-karts that are just through the back here a little seating area here as well yeah as you can see it's very very quiet today here i'm gonna jump down into the sandpit myself yeah a little play area here which is nice to see this is kind of this whole kind of uh, stretch in the middle of the park here is all kind of play areas in front of this you've got buzzard swoop just here you've got pirates revenge over the back as well as fort creeley that kind of nestles just in the center here Yes, it's all very, very quiet around this area of the park. But yeah, it is all open. Not staffed. These are, none of these are staffed. They're all kind of quite safe enough. Obviously, the uh, kids can be monitored by the parents. Yeah, all these play areas are really, really quiet today. Got some carpet slides here as well. Yeah, really nice. And then just to the right here, you've got the driving school for Creeley. Very similar to the one found at Legoland in Windsor. Not quite as big as that one, of course, but uh, yeah, works in kind of the same way. Yeah, the cars are great, aren't they? Look at this. <laughs> That's fantastic. All the road signs here as well. A little carousel horse in the center, acting as a roundabout. <laughs> The traffic lights there as well, yeah, fantastic. A little play area just at the back. And then, of course, there's Pirate's Revenge and Fort Creeley just here as well, as you can see. Yeah, kind of more for the larger kids, I think, that one. That slide looks, uh, slide looks pretty steep. you got some eateries around here as well, seaside spuds. And then just behind, you've got the Dino Jeeps, which we'll take a look on a little bit later on. And the dinosaur statue there. There we are. Nice bit of theming. And they've also got a fantastic Victorian carousel here as well, which looks great. All nicely undercover as well, kind of protecting it from the elements there. Yeah, really, really nice looking this one. I wonder if this is where the horse came from with the, <laughs> over, at the, uh, over at the driving school we saw earlier. Yeah, really nice. Classic organ in there as well. Just see it through the back there behind that kind of perspexy glass. Really, really nice. And just to the left of that in the background there then is the water slides. Or the water raft slide, I should say. And this is Vortex. Not a KMG afterburner on the island like no other. This one. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a look at that a little bit later on. Of course, there are smoking areas around the park as well if you do need to. All undercover as well, as you can see, just through the back there. And here we are at the main event then. It is Sooty Land. And I gotta say, I love this. Sooty Sweep and Sue's little beach cabins here just on the side of these toilets. <laughs> Looks fantastic. And also you've got Izzy Wizzy Let's Get Dizzy here, which is a little crazy daisy ride, which unfortunately appears to be closed today. It's, uh, it's not manned or anything up here. So unless this opens a little bit later on, that appears to be closed for the day. Sweeps Hot Dogs just to the left here as well next to sweeps flying circus that's open and in operation that's just about to get uh, dispatched 
And yeah, actually, these prices are not too bad. $9.95 for the hot dog meal, classic and vegan options here, bottled waters, Pepsi. Usually with an IP, you'd find that these prices are a little bit higher, uh, but these appear to be pretty much in line um, with average theme park prices, which is nice to see. Like I say, usually with IP prices, they try to just charge that little bit more. And there we are, Sweep's Flying Circus there. Nice little flat ride. Nicely themed in. I do like the theming around here. It's got to be said, a little play area here. Love these poles here. <laughs> these, these poles are basically the magic wand. Got some planting around here as well. Little ice cream truck. Sue's uh, sweet balloon ride just over the back here as well. Now this building here as well actually isn't new, but it has been completely refurbished uh, and has completely changed on the inside. This was actually here when I last visited. Uh, but in there is where you'll find a couple of play areas and the kind of sooty museum, which we'll be taking a look at in just a moment. And here we have Sooty's Magic Bus and a little junior flying carpet ride. And then Sue's sweet balloon ride here as well. <laughs> Fantastic. In terms of location, just outside the Sullyland area itself by Sue's uh, balloon ride, and just next to the carousel here as well, you've got the Big Top, Sully's Big Top Showtime. Now this is where you'll find the live show, 11.30, 1.30 and 3.30. It's about a 25 minute show, we'll be catching the 1.30 option today, and I'll put in some highlights in this vlog of that show as well today. We've also got Tidal Wave here. They're really stealing the names from Thorpe Park here, aren't they? <laughs> Tidal Wave, a little two-drop special. This is a log flume. And yeah, actually, it's nice to see that this is not a temporary log flume. You usually get these traveling uh, versions of these rides. However, this is a permanent ride. And again, as you can see with the sound barriers there, the boardings down here, and this drop being actually enclosed as well, all to do with kind of capturing the screens and the noises of the ride to keep it away from, uh, from those residential areas around the park. But again, just a 10 minute wait for this ride. So we'll be getting on there a little bit later on. Yeah, and again, like I say, it's great to see an actual permanent water ride like this log flume here at the park. Really, really good to see. Like I say, you would usually get kind of a temporary version, traveling version, which never looks as good uh, and can never really get as, as themed up as these permanent fixtures can either. So it's good to see that here at the park. In terms of, hey, in terms of events here at Creeley though, like I say, we did have, uh, we do have the Egosaurus uh, Dino Hunt, which starts tomorrow for Easter, but also this year marks Sooty's 75th anniversary. So in July, throughout July weekends, they're kind of celebrating uh, his 75th anniversary with lots of entertainment here at the park. We also have Spookfest that takes place here in the last week of October, as well as new for this year, a winter Winterfest light trail that starts in early November and goes on until the end of the year. And also at uh, the end of the year and throughout December, you also have Christmas at Creeley, which obviously features all the Christmas entertainment, the Christmas lights, and of course, Father Christmas himself. But yeah, really having a great day here at Creeley today. It's just about right in terms of park capacity, lots of, uh, lots of rides to get on. In terms of the size of the park, it sits on just 100 acres. So it's actually not a huge park at all. However, looking around the park, especially here next to uh, this uh, log flume just behind me here, there's lots of room for expansion here. And I feel if the park ever did need to expand, they have the room to do so. Uh, and I think actually, uh, considering this park has only three roller coasters at the moment, it would be nice to see another family coaster of some sort, maybe something along the lines of, you know, Flight of the Pterosaur, something like that, you know, a family suspended coaster, which would look nice on this patch of land behind me here. This patch of land is certainly big enough 
And I think Creeley would really benefit from something like that. I think it would be absolutely fantastic. You could theme it really well here. You could even take some of it out across that lake. I think it would be an absolutely fantastic ride. Looking forward to seeing what Creeley does in the future now that Sootyland is obviously in place. Be really interesting to keep an eye on this one. And into the main building now then of Sootyland. And yeah, this has changed quite a lot in here since I was last here. Obviously you've got Sooty's Diner here as well. With lots of space for eating just over the back towards here. And all in the middle of the uh, building itself are all these basically uh, adventure play areas here. Lots of kind of soft play areas. You've got a, a mirror maze, which unfortunately is closed at the moment. Um, you've got areas to leave the shoes here. Plenty of seating for the parents to sit uh, while the kids go and do their thing. You've got a giant twister area just here. You've got like a little dance studio in the yellow cabin. Further cabins at the back here with plenty of seating all around here for parents to sit. You've got some entrances into some of the soft play areas here as well. Lots of things for the kids to do here as well. You've got little magic bricks here. And of course in here is also where you'll find the Hall of Fame and the Sooty Store. Again, lots of uh, further seating for eating around here as well. Like I say, you've got the Sooty's Diner there, but you've also got Sue's Cafe if you want kind of a more lighter bites and maybe kind of a coffee or a tea. There's some uh, you know, tables to sit here, some outside seating as well. Lots of seating in here, which is really, really good to see. And the Sooty Store here as well. Let's go in and take a look. Yeah, this is where you'll find all your sooty themed merchandise here as well. Got some of these fridge magnets which look really nice. Some of these uh, lanyards here as well with uh, some candy on the bottom. <laughs> and you've got all your puppets here as well. £15.99. Sooty, Sweep and Sue. And in various magic get-ups here as well which is good to see. Got some sticker sets here as well. And little toys at the bottom. Yeah, this is all really good. This is, for me, you know, is a real nostalgia hit. It's got to be said, you've got all the magic box sets here as well. Magic made easy. And there's old Richard here. All nice custom footage for the park, which is great to see. And more magic stuff here as well. Yeah, this is fantastic. Looking around 15 to 20 pounds for these. You've got some lights, you've got your wands here to buy. More of your soft toys and stuff here. Love these sweet ones, they're great. <laughs> Sooty with his wand. And some various other bits and pieces. Yeah, really, really nice in here actually. Love this. <laughs> There's a nice tree. Yeah, you know what? I might even pick up a, uh, a sweet puppet. Sweet was always my favorite as a kid, growing up with Sooty. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> oh, oh he, hasn't, he hasn't got a squeaker. <laughs> 15.99 that's got to be worth it fantastic and you've also got some mugs here as well you've got your sooty land mug not embossed or anything but yeah really nice and 9.99 for a mug and you got this one here as well and you got some whoopee cushions <laughs> and some bags as well as well as all of your confectionery and stuff here as well yeah really really cool yeah like this might get a sweep lolly as well also here we have the Hall of Fame, the longest children's television series in the world. And for someone like me, and adults as well, this is what is really kind of the, uh, the draw here at Sootyland. These are all authentic, genuine sets that were used uh, in the Sooty programs. You've got obviously all the uh, programs themselves playing here, all different series, where you can see the sets actually in use. And then right opposite these, here we are. That's fantastic, got the boats here, the pianos, all the original puppets here and stuff as well, Sweep's parents, Butch the Bulldog, <laughs> a lesser known yet iconic character who is often rude, referring to Harry as Mr. Cornet or Mr. Corset. <laughs> Sweep in his box there, oh yeah, this is fantastic. Like I say, for me, you know, someone, I mean, I'm 40 years old, I grew up watching, you know, Sooty and Sweep as a kid, so this for me is, uh, is a nostalgia hit for sure. Much more in the way, uh, kind of similar to Thomas really, Thomas Land at Drayton Manor. They have a similar thing with an exhibit there showing off all the kind of uh, models that were used in the actual television series, the earlier series of Thomas, you know, before it became animated. So again, for people of my age, that's really, really good to see. Certainly a lot more so than other IPs, like perhaps CBBS or Peppa Pig, that doesn't really have that. But yeah, this is fantastic. 
Oh, Matthew Corbett there. Oh, I remember seeing some of these. This is great. <laughs> Queen Mother's Birthday Awards there. Look at that. Special mention from Sooty. <laughs> You've got all the famous people there that he's met across the years as well. Oh, Boise from Only Fools and Horses. Peter Andre there, Scylla Black. Fantastic, Amanda Holden. Wow. Your SS-1 rocket ship there. <laughs> oh yeah, this is fantastic. Like I say, all original, authentic props and uh, stage pieces here. The Sooty's drum kit. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. This one seems to have frozen up. When Sooty met royalty, there you go. There's old King Charles. Not Prince, not Prince of Wales anymore. <laughs> and Harry Corbett's Sooty TV concert. There you go. This machine is over 50 years old, learned from a private collection of Richard Cadle. Fantastic. You got the bath scene here as well. Yeah, as you can see, it's showing on the TV at the back there. The original bathroom set that is currently used in the ITV series. And there's Sue in a little bathrobe there. <laughs> this is great. And here we have the actual bedroom set used by Richard and the gang on television. One of the most iconic designs for those that love the Sooty show. And yeah, as you can see, this is exactly how I remember it as a kid. The Sooty Sweep and Sue in their beds there. Fantastic to see this, really, really cool. And yeah, like I say, you've got the Sooty through the years, you've got the timeline here. There you go, 1948, like I said earlier. This year, celebrating their 75th anniversary. So yeah, this is fantastic to see. And this timeline goes all the way along, all the way until today, which is obviously 2022. Obviously we're in 2023 as it stands. And that's when it opened here at Crilly Theme Park and Resort. Yeah, fantastic to see. A really, really nice museum actually, with some really nice bits of information in there as well. And like I say, for someone of my age, that's kind of really the draw here at Sudiland, that nostalgia hit, which is absolutely fantastic. You also got a stage here where you can actually meet Sooty at 12.30 and 2.30. This is obviously separate from the actual main show, which is held at the Big Top Arena. But yeah, there's some plenty of seating around here as well to sit and watch the stage show as well. There's some screens on either side and that amazing Sooty signage at the top there. That's great. And while inside the building here at Sootyland, I decided to grab myself some lunch from Sue's Diner. Gone for a nice chicken strips meal. Got the fries there, Pepsi Max drink. And this was £8.95. So yeah, like I say, pretty average theme park prices here. And uh, yeah, a good sized chicken strip there. And I gotta say, mm, nice and hot and tasty, great stuff. And back outside now then, after having taken a little tour of the building here in Sootyland. And like I say, that has changed a lot since 2015 and it's absolutely fantastic. The diner in there and the cafe, plenty of spacious seating, well-priced as well. Lots of play areas for the kids, that awesome stage as well, where you can meet Sooty and Sweep. And the store as well, with lots of merchandise in there, not just from Sootyland. You had some generic stuff in there as well. But again, the store merchandise, pretty reasonably priced there, but by far and away for me the best part of that was the hall of fame the little museum that they've got here i just think it's fantastic and really does appeal for both today's audiences and for people like myself um, to just get that nostalgia hit seeing those genuine authentic sets was absolutely magical fantastic stuff uh it just like i say it's the nostalgia of it all and i think with Sooty, the, the IP really does appeal to people like myself as well as the kids, much like Thomas Land actually at Drayton Manor with their exhibition. That's very similar and much more so than, like I said in there, much more so than kind of Peppa Pig or CBeebies. That doesn't really appeal too much to adults because that was never really around, uh, you know, back when we were a kid. Obviously, that appeals more to the children. So I think um, absolutely that's going to be the best thing for me about Sooty Land is that museum. Absolutely fantastic. And I may even pick myself up a 
sweet puppet. Why the hell not? £15.99. Let's do it. Of course, uh, coming up now, 1.30. It's almost time for the show at the Big Top. So coming up after this is going to be highlights from that show um, featuring Sooty, Sweep and Sue, I assume. This is brand new for me, never seen it before. Um, so looking forward to seeing the show. After that show, we'll be heading over to the Twister roller coaster to check out what that's like. Little SPF Visa spinning coaster. Should be a fun one. Coming up, footage from the show. And here we are in the big top then, just waiting for the show to start, and I'm the first one in here. Look at that. But it gives me a good chance to show you just how much uh, seating there is here at the big top. It's pretty big actually in here, surprisingly. It doesn't look this big from the outside. But yeah, it's pretty fantastic. Great stage at the front there. Just 20 minutes until the show starts. Thought I'd get in early. Get myself a nice front row seat. We've got a couple of people just turning up now. But uh, yeah, looking forward to this. This should be a good show. Highlights coming up. It's the longest running children's television show in the world, ever. It's the show every generation has grown up with. And it's here for you now. Yes, it's time for The Sooty Show. Sue's dress. Was it? You've got an invention that'll sort it out. What's it called? 
the Sutomatic washing machine. But where is it? Under that cloth over there. Right, I'm back to you. Right, ladies and gentlemen, from Rugby, as I present you some of the Sutomatic washing machine. <laughs> some highlights there then of the sooty show here at Creeley and yeah that was a really really fun show lots of high energy good vibes good atmosphere and speaking to a couple of the families after the show everyone seemed to really really enjoy it like I say just a 25 minute show and it occurs three times throughout the day at 11 30 1 30 and 3 30 and yeah it was great to see obviously sooty sweep and sue behaving in exactly the same way as they do in the sooty series absolutely fantastic really really pleased with that uh, the Safari Express is just behind me here. However, we're going to be heading down to the Twister roller coaster, which was manufactured by SBF Visa and opened here back in 2015. Like I say, it was the new ride when I last came to this park. Now, I do remember it being a relatively slow version of a spinning coaster. However, you know, it does depend on how these uh, cars are actually loaded up when it comes to the spinning. So we we'll get on there now. It's about a 10 minute queue time currently, and we'll see just how much of a spin we get. Let's head on to the Twister roller coaster. And here we go then on the Twister roller coaster. Like I say, manufactured by SPF Visa, so I would temper expectations with this one. <laughs> I don't think we're going to get a very good spin on here. Number one, because you don't usually get a good spin on these versions anyway, but number two, I'm actually in the car completely uh, on my own, so there's <laughs> hardly any weight to it whatsoever which would usually be a good thing, me riding coasters on my own. However, for these, it really does need to be loaded up so that you get that good spin. However, we'll see. Could be surprised. Hey! Great views, if nothing else. See all the animals over the back there. Hey! <laughs> oh my God! Wow! <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's see. Hey! No, no spin yet. Oh, no spin at all. And that's the thing, see, it really does need to be kind of loaded on one side to get a decent spin. If you ride these on your own, you really don't have much hope. Hooray! <laughs> Whoa! A little bit of a mild spin at the end there. But unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, I knew that was going to be the case before we even set out. Still a fun ride though. There we are, the Twister roller coaster. A little bit of on and off ride footage there then of the twister roller coaster yeah good operations on there just waited 15 minutes running three trains and yeah the dispatch is getting sent out nice and fast queue line is great lots of facts and uh, figures about tornadoes or twisters whatever you want to call them um, and also some good audio playing as well in terms of the ride itself though 
Yeah, they, see these SPF visas, they, they just don't tend to ride as good as their Revachon equivalents. It felt quite slow, uh, lacking in intensity. It very, reminded me very much of the Viking coaster um, at Energylandia, which of course, again, is another SPF visa spinner for those that have watched the uh, Energy, Energylandia vlog. It just seems to lack that kick. Obviously, it does kind of, it relies mostly on how the cars are loaded, but in general, I do still find that even with a well-loaded car, um, you just don't get the same speed or the same spin or that intensity as you do from the Revachon equivalents. However, still a fun little ride and as of 2023, still the park's newest coaster here, like I say, having opened back in 2015. And as we saw at the start of the day then on the park map, it's not just rides and sooty land here at Creeley, there's also animal land with lots of animals ranging from tortoises to meerkats and goats. So let's take a look. Yeah, around the back of Tortoise Town and Meerkat Manor, you've got some areas that are under construction at the moment. This you did have animals in back when I last visited. However, it looks like they're uh, cleaning this out and kind of giving it a little bit of a refurb to get some new animals in a little bit later on, I suspect. Around the back, though, this is uh, Tortoise Town. Looks like uh, most of them are actually inside today, though. And yeah, you've got some uh, fun facts and stuff on the fences here and little peepholes that you can see in for the younger children that can't see over the ledge. And then we've got Meerkat Manor just to the left here as well with the same kind of thing with the facts. And then the meerkats over this ledge. Let's take a quick look. Oh. <laughs> and you got a big old pane of glass on the left side so you can get up close and personal. I love these meerkats. <laughs> I hope that one there is okay though. He's not, he's not died, has he? <laughs> I think they're just enjoying a little bit of the uh, rare British sun, I think. It's actually quite warm now the sun's come out. Yeah, these are great. <laughs> Hello. And we've got quite an array of animals here at Creeley, including emus and a red-necked wallaby here, just over by the shed. And we got the goats just through here as well. And then a little bit further on, we've got donkeys and horses and some llamas right over the back there. Would like to see uh, an opportunity to kind of get a little bit closer to these animals. Obviously got the emus um, way over the back. You can only just kind of see them. There is a gate just off to the left here, although I don't think that's actually for public use. So, you know, trying to get a good view of like the emus and things is, uh, is a little difficult. Oh, we can just about see the wallaby there. It looks like he's rubbing his hands together like he's plotting something maniacal. <laughs> yeah, good to see that they've uh, got a lot of space to roam around in as well. And yeah, this is kind of a nice, nice kind of time really, kind of mid-afternoon to get away from the hustle and bustle of the rides and the shows. Just come and chill out a little bit in animal land here. And yeah, there's the donkeys. Aww. How are you doing? Wearing their nice green coats. They've got their brush on a pole there for a little bit of entertainment. <laughs> and again, from back here, you can kind of really appreciate the size of the big top, actually. Uh, yeah, from here, you can certainly see that it is quite a large tent from around the front there. You can't really uh, see how far it stretches back, which it, uh, kind of took me by surprise when we actually got inside there. But yeah, from here, you can really see how big that is. And again, all this expansion area just here as well, almost begging for a new coaster. Like I say, 2023 now, it's been eight years since Creeley have, uh, you know, introduced a new coaster to their park. So I do feel like the time is uh, pretty ripe now that Sooty Land is in. Come on, Creeley, let's get something new. And out of Animal Land now then, and back into the main park. Going to check out Tidal Wave now. A little two drop log flume special. Let's get on. And here we are on Tidal Wave. Yeah, I figured this, uh, weather-wise, it's actually quite warm. So I uh, thought I'd give it a go. Got a boat to myself. Three. And I've sat towards the back of the boat here. 
hoping that it'll keep me at least a little bit dry. Drop one of two. Hey! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh well! That's wetter than I thought. <laughs> hey! Yeah, again, considering that this is one of the uh, permanent flat rides here, it would be nice to see a little bit more theming around. And here we go. Second and final drop through the shed. It's a noisy one. <laughs> Great view of the big top, an animal land over the back. Yeah, really nice. And here we go. Let's see how we fare. Whey! Oh, oh. oh, not too bad. Not too bad, that's a five out of 10. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey! <laughs> Thumbs up, great stuff. And from one water ride to another then, this is Vortex. And here we have three slides to choose from, Viper, Vertigo and Venom. Now unfortunately Viper, the one with a little bit of a helix in it, is actually closed. So we only have Vertigo and Venom to choose from. I'm going to be going for Vertigo as it seems to have a much steeper drop as opposed to kind of this double down here on uh, Venom. So yeah, we're going to give that a go, see how it rides, see how wet we get. This should be a good one. Let's jump on. And you got some better views of the Twister roller coaster from the queue line of Vortex there. But as you can see, yeah, these sound barriers here on the side of the ride, just wish on the other side or even this side as well, so you can see it whilst queuing for Vortex. You know, just get some flying cows on there or something, you know, some destroyed houses, perhaps, you know, a Twister kind of wrapping around here and a load of destruction going on down here. Just theming up, you know, a little bit for the ride, just to kind of get that hype up, get that excitement going, you know, it just looks a little bit plain as it is currently. Okay, are we ready? And off we go. And here we go on Vertigo then. Way! Oh my god! <laughs> Woo! Let's get a long one. Oh, we were beaten. <laughs> Oh, and a great ride on Vortex there then, or should I say Vertigo on Vortex. I did go up and have another ride on Venom, which was the other slide with the triple down element, not a double down as I originally thought. And yeah, while great, uh, didn't quite have the same pace as Vertigo. So I think Vertigo was my favorite of the two slides there. Really, really good. Really got some, uh, some speed right at the end there, almost hit the wall on the second ride. So that was really, really fun. Gonna take a ride on Flying Machine now that you can see just behind me, a little Zamperla Junior a wave swinger uh, before heading over to the final area of the park which is Atlantis and in there we'll find the third of our three roller coasters here at the park Shark Bay which opened back in 2014 and is manufactured by Zamperla we'll go take a look at that area right after my ride on flying machines let's get on and just having a quick ride now on the flying machine the little junior wave swinger here at Creeley and I'm actually trying to remember, there used to actually be a junior wave swinger positioned over where Sooty Land is currently. It was actually called the Honey Swing, if I remember rightly. Now, I'm not sure if this is the same ride, just relocated and given a new name, or whether this is, uh, you know, actually a brand new ride. Manufactured by Sam Perla, this one. Do enjoy a good wave swinger, give some good views over Aqua Blasters there. Hey! Maximus, Pirate's Revenge, Fort Creeley. Oh, it's been a fantastic day today. Creeley is one of those parks that I feel is really kind of not underrated as such. It's a great family park, but I feel like it just doesn't really get the exposure that, it's, uh, that it kind of needs. And maybe they don't need it. Maybe it's doing well enough, but uh, you know, I've never seen a TV advert or anything on the internet advertising Creeley for 
you know, for, for as long as I've been coming here, even when Suriland opened last year, I still no, didn't see any kind of marketing for it whatsoever. But the park certainly seems to be doing well enough without it, so maybe uh, it's something they've decided against, whether financially or for other reasons. Yeah, fantastic park, this. Well-maintained, nice and tidy, great staff. Yeah, it's been a great day. Hey! Hey! Yeah, pretty good cycle on this as well, so I'll see you when I come off. And here we are inside Atlantis then. Number of flat rides in here as well as a play area. And just to the right of me here we've got Dolphin Drop, which is a little junior drop tower. They also sell Lavazza coffee here as well. Currently closed, but a really nice Italian coffee spot that when it is actually open. So yeah, Dolphin Drop there. Like I say, a little junior drop tower, really, really nice. And this play area kind of extends all the way across the back wall with a little flat ride at the back and a little flat ride here. And then in the center is our third roller coaster, Shark Bay. Let's get on. And here we are on Shark Bay then. Like I say, over here at the park in 2014, as we say in the uh, roller coaster enthusiast world, a cred's a cred. Hey! <laughs> yeah, little bits of theming around on this one as well, big old starfish. And an inflatable octopus as well. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, nice little indoor junior coaster this one. And lap number three. Good views around the indoor area as well. See all the flat rides around here. Hey! Could be our last one. Yeah, that is it. Three lap special. <laughs> Love the octopus. He's fantastic. <laughs> with just 30 minutes left then until park close. Certain areas of the park now are really kind of petering out and feeling quite empty as people make their way to the exit. I'm gonna get a ride in on dino jeeps now before we wrap up today's vlog. It's been a great day here today, but let's get one more ride in before the park closes and then we'll take a look in the gift shop. And here we are on dino jeeps. Oh, hello. <laughs> Busting through the wooden shack there. Does this uh, button do anything here? No, it seems to, uh, that, that looks a little bit broken, but I, I'm, I'm sure that uh, is supposed to do something. We've got some dinosaurs around here as well. Hey, this looks a lot different from when I last visited. Wow. Wow, all the foliage really grown here as well, the trees. Lots of dinos around. I feel like it's uh, lacking some sound effects though, some audio perhaps. Big old Diplodocus up there. Hey, hey, hey. It's all right for the last ride of the day. Pretty much a walk on. Yeah, definitely lacking some audio, I think, around here. Maybe some uh, animatronics would have been nice as well. These are all very kind of statuesque models here. We've got some bones and some eggs around. You gonna spit water at me or anything? No? I feel like some effects would have been nice. A triceratops in there. Warning, dinosaurs on the loose. Stay alert at all times. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, 
a good use of lighting in here. Oh, there's an animatronic. Hey! <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Right in the crotch. <laughs> That's going to be an embarrassing moment when I'm walking to the exit. <laughs> yeah, pretty well, well themed though. Some good use of uh, objects around. Yeah, the station's well themed as well with all these kind of fossils and uh, bottles and stuff lying in the walls there which is great and there we are that's the ride and with that final ride on dino jeeps then that is going to wrap up my day here at creeley we're just going to put in a little bit more footage of areas around the park before heading to the gift shop to wrap up today's vlog yeah with dino jeeps that would have been nice to have had a few more animatronics in there maybe some more effects some smoke effects or something a little bit more audio would have been nice but it is what it is it's a little junior track ride and for what it is it is still pretty fun so coming up a few more bits around the park and then we'll check out the gift shop. And in the Creeley gift shop now then, and we got a talking flop and a talking bing up here. <laughs> yeah, nice, isn't they? A little assortment of toys here. We got some Hey Dougie stuff. Hey, reminds me of being back at Alton Towers. We got the singing stick here as well. <laughs> you got your usual confectionery here, as well as a load of Vimto products by the looks of it. Candy floss, roller liquors, big candy sprays. Some model cars here, six pound ninety nine. Really nice. Yeah, you got some books for the kids here as well. Sticker books, colouring books. Oh, we got some Peppa Pig merch here as well. Hey. Yeah. Due back at Portons Park very soon. And over in Dino Island, you got all your Dino themed merch as well. As well as the big Dino coming through the store there. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, little Triceratops there, $9.99. T-Rex at the top and some dinosaur eggs here as well and yeah here's a quick look at the uh, Creeley t-shirts here just printed on not embroidered or anything got that in blue and red they've also got the hoodies here as well in blue red gray and black and kids selection across the top here as well and your Creeley water bottles and a Creeley bear you fancy a Creeley bear and you've also got an assortment of Sooty, Sweep and Sue bears and puppets here, much like what we saw over in the Sooty store in Sooty Land, £15.99. And yeah, still deciding whether I pick myself up a sweet puppet or not. <laughs> He's an absolute classic. He was definitely my favourite of the three back when I was a kid. Yeah, really well-priced merch as well. Like I say, it's nice to see that the prices haven't kind of increased due to it being a popular IP. There's the, uh, the Sue merch there. The bigger bears at the bottom, ranging up to $19.99. We've got some Marvel merch here as well. Spider-Man, Iron Man, Black Panther there. <laughs> Love this little Hulk doll, look at that. <laughs> Absolutely great. Yeah, Spider-Man again, Captain America down there. Yeah, nice selection. And with that final visit to the gift shop then, that brings my day here at the Creeley Resort to a close. And look, I've said it all throughout the vlog, it is a fantastic family park this. And I just wish that it had a little bit more exposure. Like I say, I feel like when you talk to people about Creeley, a lot of people haven't actually heard of it, don't know what you're actually talking about, because there's been no kind of advertisements on TV or online or anything like that that I've seen since I've been coming here, and certainly not since last year when obviously Sudiland opened as well. So I'd like to see maybe the park advertise themselves a little bit more. 
like I said on flying machines, it may be that they don't need to do that, that they're happy with the income that they've got. However, it would just be nice, you know, to see something, you know, of Creeley on the TV or something, just to give it a little bit more exposure because it is a fantastic family park. It's well maintained, it's well themed, the staff are friendly, operations have been absolutely great today, and Sudiland absolutely fantastic like i say that nostalgia hit for someone like myself you know to see that ip and all those sets there you know was absolutely fantastic the fact that they've got those authentic designs and the puppets from all of the early series is really really good to see um, and again yeah operations in the land have been great um, the theming is great across there uh, the food is well priced I can't speak highly enough of it really. It really, really is a fantastic addition and a great overall package, it has to be said. Um, in terms of the rest of the park, Maximus is definitely the best ride here, there's no doubt about that. Um, but the others are keeping a close second. Tidal Wave's really fun. Both Maximus and Tidal Wave I would like to see a little bit more theming around. Um, but you know, as they are, they're, they're okay. It could just be, you know, a little bit more effort spent on some uh, few more objects of theming scattered around here and there. You know, on the sound barriers as well, like we said about Twister Roller Coaster, would be nice to get a, a few bits and pieces on there as well. The only thing I would say to Creeley is expand. That's that's the thing. I think I feel like now that Sudiland is in place, I feel like the next thing has got to be expansion here at this park. Another roller coaster very much needed. Obviously, like I say, it's been eight years now since a new coaster was actually um, brought into Creeley. Twister Roller Coaster back in 2015. So I feel like it is due another one, and there's plenty of space where it can go. And like I said earlier, something like Flight of the Pterosaur, you know, a, a family suspended coaster would work really well. Well here and again bring in more people get get a new ride in get that advertised and really bring the people in but it's been a fantastic day overall can't speak highly enough of this it really is a great theme park and thank you to all the staff as well who've been absolutely fantastic today lots of questions being asked um, it's yeah it's just been really really great they're all really knowledgeable here and really know how to treat the customers absolutely fantastic in terms of the next vlog coming up though on Adventure Planet, it is the start of the European mini-series, starting off with a travel log, just kind of documenting um, leaving, from leaving England, arriving in Germany, and uh, my accommodation that I'll be staying at right next to Europa Park, which will be the next vlog here on the channel. Following that, we'll be heading to Fantasialand before also covering the F-Telling and Plopsaland Japan, where I'll be riding the Ride to Happiness by Tomorrowland for the very first time. And I gotta say, <laughs> that is gonna be a good one. Is that gonna be somewhere in my top three, top five? There could be a shift after going on that ride. I've heard a lot of good things and it looks absolutely fantastic. But until then, I wanna say thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to Creeley as well. Um, yeah, it's been a great day. Absolutely fantastic. Even the weather stayed dry. So yeah, thank you so much for watching everybody. And as always, happy riding. I'll see you in the next vlog.